Hi, Bill Garvin here for Ganold USA. All right, in this video, we're going to cover the KK100. It is a temporary spray adhesive. It will dissolve within 24 hours completely into the fabric. And the two choices that we have is the original KK100. It has a more concentrated spray nozzle, a little bit heavier tack when spraying. And then we also have the economy, which is about half the price, which is more of a finer mist of product. Um, either one works perfectly as good as the other. It's usually just a user preference. Sometimes you may want to start with the economy just for the price and then maybe move up to the full KK100 product. So just so you can see how the spray works on each. Now keep in mind that you normally do not want to spray near your equipment, your computers, or anything of that nature. Okay, you can actually go to Google and you can find out how to do an embroidery spray box with a fan and a cardboard box and an air filter to help keep the area clean that you're using the spray adhesive in. So if you watch the spray from the economy, it's more of a fine mist. To whereas when we go to the regular KK100 and you notice the spray, it's more concentrated. Either one is an excellent product, whether you're using it for 3D foam, applique work, adhering material to backing that is either slick or really stretchy to help reduce the amount of puckering in your design when it embroiders. Okay. And then from there, you're going to lay it onto your embroidery application. So in this application, we're using it for our 3D foam. This is going to allow me to adhere the material to the foam itself. And the main purpose of this is so I do not need to use my fingers or any tools whatsoever to hold that in place as the embroidery begins. I can tell you after 23 years of experience in this industry, a needle has never touched these fingers. So what we're going to use is the frame feature of your machine to move us back into place and then start sewing. <laughs> 